These kids have been hurt. So many of them are broken. They are all the outcasts. If Black Rock didn't exist, 82 kids last year wouldn't have got a diploma. I don't want to graduate from high school. Why are you still at home? No, you got to come to school, honey. Do you need me to come get you? And that was from the new documentary, Bad Kids, which follows several students at Black Rock High School, a last resort continuation school for problem teens who've exhausted other options. Joining us today to talk about it is one of the filmmakers, Lou Pepe, and the heart of the film, the school's principal, Vonda Veland. So great to see both of you. Thank you so much for being here. One of the things that you notice right off watching the movie is that these are not bad kids. Their circumstances are. And that's what's so Heartbreaking. What did you notice about the school, you and your co-director, Keith Fulton, that made you want to make this documentary? Well, when we were introduced to the school, we were told this is a school where all of the students who are at risk of dropping out go. And we have our preconceived notions about who those kids are. We all knew bad kids in high school. Sure. And when we walked through the doors of that school, it was not at all what we expected. It was a warm, very familial environment. And that atmosphere is precisely the educational culture we wanted to capture on film. And Vonda, your school is so amazing. I wasn't aware of these continuation schools. How many of them are there across the country, do you know? There are 400 in California, California. and then okay. each district has to have some form of alternative education and they decide themselves what kind of program they'll develop. But Vonda, you really are the reason this one is, is so successful, I'd imagine, because watching you, you call them in the morning if they're not there. You sometimes drive and get them and bring, bring them to school. You bring them milk if they haven't eaten breakfast. I mean, you're not just the principal, you're almost like a mother to these kids. How do you do that again and again and again without having your heart broken a million times? It is difficult. Um, I'm fortunate to have an incredible staff who supports me and lifts me. And then the students inspire me every day. They motivate me to work harder and try harder because they are so resilient and they are so determined. And that, they, that makes it so that you feel that they deserve your 100% effort. These kids are just, they're so wonderful. And Lou, how did you choose your subjects? That, that was really difficult mm -hmm. because you kind of fall in love with all of them in yeah. different ways. Um, some of them, like Lee, walked up to us on the first day, held out his hand, and he said, Hi, I'm Lee. Who are you? And Lee, we should tell our viewers, is a new father with a new, a new baby at home. His wife or girlfriend, the mother, is also a student at the school. So it's an incredible situation that this young family is in, and we get to watch them. Now, that's the other part of it, is that so many of these children are suffering from terrible circumstances at home correct, which is yeah. beyond your control, which yeah. must be so frustrating as an educator. And that part you can't show as a filmmaker. So was that a difficult hurdle to get over? Well, we, we want to suggest it, but we really wanted to focus on the school as the environment and the student's perspective of how supportive the environment at school is. Right. We really uh, try at the school to become part of their family and their support system. Many of our students, after they leave us, will come back and get help from us later with the, the next step in their journey. Right. So how do you handle then children, I'm thinking of one subject in particular, where the home life is a big part of the problem, where they would actually be better served leaving that situation? Well, we, we can't fix all yeah. problems. Yeah. And so what we do is we provide a good support network for them. And I really believe that we plant the seeds. They might not grow while we're watching, but eventually they'll grow. And so eventually the things that we teach them will improve their lives later on. Right. Now, Lou, of course, this being a documentary, there's no guaranteed happy endings. So how did you know when to end the documentary? Uh, you know, that was very rough. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the main subjects of the film has a very difficult story. And I remember Keith and I talking a lot about how can we have the character that you love the most potentially be one that isn't He's the one that gets away, and yeah. that's sad, but that's also the reality. And I think we live in a culture where too many of the stories that we see are heroes' journeys, and everybody ends up happy, and we can forget about it. And we didn't want that's an audience. Life. We didn't want an audience to be able to forget about it. So we wanted to share the hope with the heartbreak, um, and leave audiences with a feeling of, of that there is a positive path forward. Absolutely, that there's more work to be done that the work just doesn't end at the end of the day or at the end of the school year. 
it continues, and even with our students, when they leave us, we don't leave them. So, Vonda, you're still in touch with your graduates? Oh, definitely. They come back to you for advice. So how many hundreds of students <laughs> are you now, you know, managing on some level, or at least helping? Well, I have, I have many children. <laughs> yes. Do you have any children in real life? I do not. You do not, because you have more than enough right. here. I have two wonderful stepchildren, um, but the students become my kids. Yes. And so what do these kids need? What is it that they need when they come to your school the most? Uh, first, they need to be seen. They need to be recognized and heard and validated that they matter. Um, so many schools, if they come on late or if they are absent, uh, punish them. And we uh, do the opposite. We say, we're glad you're here. We recognize you. You must have something going on. What's made you late today? Um, we're glad you made it. And let's try a little harder to get earlier tomorrow. And you might actually go pick them up if you're yeah, out there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's so generous of you. I mean, this is the, the thing about the school, which I think is so wonderful, is that you ha create such a spirit of generosity for these kids. So how do we replicate Vonda, Lou? Well, I think part of what we do is we support other educators who have the instinct of wanting to listen to and work with at-risk youth. Mm -hmm. There's nothing at Black Rock High School that's more expensive than any other school. Human, human compassion for each other and our ability to listen to each other doesn't cost anything. It, it's something that comes from each of us and we all have the capacity to do it. And I've heard some good news that through your film and through the attention the school is getting, there have been some donations, correct? There have. We've uh, started a scholarship program for our students and so we are raising funds for scholarships for our graduates and then also we have a, a necessity fund for our students um, through Go, GoFundMe and we're trying to like get shoes for the kids and toothbrushes and deodorant That's fantastic. and Shoes all the for things. the kids and the kids who have kids Yes. Are absolutely. there other families, young families or young mothers and fathers at the school right oh, now? Oh, absolutely. There are. We run uh, several parenting classes to help them become better parents so that we don't have the cycle continue. Well, Vonda, thank you so much for everything that you do for these kids. And th Lou, thank you so much for letting us all know about it. Thank you for having us. Thank you for helping to share their story.